Hey guys, welcome to James Bond 007 Bloodstone on the PlayStation 3. This is one of the best Bond games that they ever made, as far as presentation. It feels like a movie, and I'm excited to finally be able to play it. It is Activision published, but it was Bizarre Creations, who I don't think are around anymore. This game almost got a sequel, but then it didn't. W7, this is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in 10 minutes. We haven't got 10 minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. According to our sources, General, Greco has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. The plan is for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, M. We've checked Greco out. He is an international businessman here on vacation. His business, sir, is international arms trading. He'd like to see all the heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. I want you to cancel the photo op now. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust in my ability to protect them. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. Dang right, you don't talk crap about Judy Dench. I said it before and I'll say it again. Daniel Craig is for some reason my favorite James Bond. I grew up with Pierce Brosnan, but I like the gritty form of Daniel Craig. Here we go. Headshot to start. That's good. Bond, this is Tanner at Q Branch. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Blueprints show Greco's quarters are located on the lower deck. Find him and stop the attack on the G20. Now, I'm emulating this first episode because everything works. But this game is not emulatable starting the second mission. But I have my own PlayStation 3 and a copy of this game on its way. Let's just hope that it's in good good condition and I can continue this. I did get a warranty on it, or a protection plan. Yeah, nothing but headshots, man, we're doing good. I've played this first section a little bit because I really want to play this game, man, and I hate that the emulator crashes on mission two. Who the hell are you? Call off the attack, Greco. It's over. One man against 40? I don't think so. Guts! Deal with him! So you do a lot of hiding behind cover in this game. But your health regenerates if you get shot, so it has that gimmick to it. And that's the first mission. Well, kind of, it's all chained together as the prologue here.
The water looks pretty good still for PlayStation 3. But this is so cool, man. What other James Bond game has you in a boat? Granted, there's not much to it. You just hold R2 and press X every now and then. I'm sorry, cross as it's called. That's just weird to me. It's, it's X on every other controller. Why would you call it cross? Good score, too. I forget the name of the composer, but he did a good job at making it feel like a movie. We were going so high. Two for the price of one, baby. Yeah, did you know you can get PlayStation 3 still from GameStop? For really cheap, way cheaper than they're listed on eBay and Amazon. But I will let you know the condition that it comes in. Like I said, I was careful to get some protection on it so they replace it if it's completely crap. Take out the tanks! Got a focus aim. Well, actually, no, that was carried over from when we subdued that guy in, around the corner. That's what that was. Uh, I don't really need focus aims yet. This first prologue mission is pretty easy. But what they do is they slow everything down and guarantee a headshot. No matter what weapon you're using. But did I mention I also really like that this is third person instead of first person? Like most Bond games are first person shooters, but I really like that this is third person. And it's surprising to me that it got like mixed to average reviews. Like everybody said it was plain and dull, but the presentation is so well done. And it's interesting that they went back in like 2021 they went back and re-reviewed the game and they were like oh yeah it's actually one of the best bond games so i don't know what was going on in 2010 that they thought this was crap i like to hide behind this little thing and you could use a focus aim here but he's yeah they're all in good positions no focus aim needed But unfortunately, this is one of those games that you're never going to see again because Activision doesn't have the Bond license. Bizarre is out of the picture. And, uh... Well, it's a soon to be abandoned where if it's not already. Where's the bomb, Greco? Last chance. Where is it? You're too late. Em, how much time do we have? Not much. They're assembling the heads of state for the big 
to be. Oh, it's all gone sideways. Sucks to be that guy. Let's just hope we don't hit the truck that comes in the left lane here. Because that's instant death. It's happened to me before. <laughs> A couple times I've replayed this mission. I mean, EA did a good job when they had the Bond license. Agent Under Fire is a lot of fun. A lot of people like Night Fire and Everything or Nothing had some decent presentation to it as well. And it, had, it featured Pierce Brosnan for like the only time ever. took a little tumble off the cliff. Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly, yes. How did you know? Quite honestly. Intuition. Yeah, you tell that asshole. Welp, there you go. Nice to see you, 007. I was worried that you wouldn't make it in time. Well, that makes two of us. Well done. Thank you. May I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have... You'll have a vodka martini. Alright, this song is sung by Joss Stone, who also plays the female lead in this game. And it's pretty good for an original Bond song. I like the presentation. Damn right, Adele. No, this, uh, that, that wasn't Adele. That was Skyfall. But that'll be all for me. This is a prelude to Chapter 2 or Mission 2. It doesn't load on the emulator. Let's hope the PlayStation 3 on its way is in good shape and we can continue Good morning, this. Good morning, WSM. Take care. I know we promised you a week's holiday after Athens, but we have a situation developing that requires immediate attention. Are you free to speak? Yes, I can talk. I'm in a hotel. I should be online in a moment. There you are. How much do you know about Midhurst Laboratories? Biotech firm, publicly traded, City of London, military contractor. But not just any military contractor. Two years ago, Midhurst Laboratories signed a contract for some mission-critical biotechnology for our defense forces that's so secret I'm loath to discuss it even on this link. I understand. Good. Last week, one of their senior researchers, Malcolm Tedworth, went missing from his yacht in the English Channel. At first, the Royal Navy presumed he was dead. His boat was discovered capsized after a squall off the coast. But this morning, 
we received a tip that he's alive and about to sell that research to a buyer in Istanbul. How reliable is the information? Doubtful. An anonymous caller from a cell phone purchased at a convenience store in Madrid. The phone went dead. But soon after, the US echelon system picked up another cell phone transmission near a construction site in downtown Istanbul using the keywords researcher, bioweapons, and password. It might be a trap, a setup. Any chance that it's the researcher himself, hang of conscience, second thoughts about selling out the UK? That's why the helicopter is landing outside your hotel. There'll be a jet waiting at the airport. And when you arrive in Istanbul, do whatever you have to, by any means necessary, to find out who's behind this. And make sure that research doesn't fall into the wrong hands.